Hello everybody, this is Eddie Soundhead here from Soundhead Entertainment and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all the settings that I believe produce the best racing when you're running at Daytona in the Forza Motorsport 6 NASCAR expansion. Before we jump into these settings, I want to take a quick moment to thank everybody who has subscribed to our channel. We just hit 700 subscribers this morning and that is incredible, so thanks to each and every one of you who subscribed and support us by liking and commenting on our videos. We really do appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. So a small disclaimer when you're using these settings, I would highly recommend you only use them if you're going to run a race that is five laps or longer. If you run a race that is five laps or shorter, you really don't have that much time to get through the field and compete for the win. So I would highly recommend you use these for races five laps or longer. There are two crucial components to these settings and one of them is really just kind of something you probably have on default anyway. You want the AI to be set to unbeatable and you want driver aggressive limits off so they'll be just as aggressive and you want them to be just as hard to beat as possible. Even though unbeatable really isn't all that unbeatable, you still want it there just for that extra challenge. The second key component to these settings are the mod cards that you're going to use. The only mod card that is required is either power decrease by 4% or power decrease by 6%. Now the only problem with this is obviously not everybody is going to have these cards. I got these by opening up uh, card packs so you may have to do a couple of those before you can get them but those will help you out. It doesn't really matter which one you use. If you want that little extra challenge use 6%. In the videos that I recorded for today and tomorrow I use the 4% cards. It really doesn't matter if you want that 6% extra challenge, go for it. If not, use the 4% and still produces pretty good racing. So I have two major tips for anybody who's trying to use these settings while racing. Tip one is to make sure you use the draft as best as you can. You're going to want to take advantage of the draft, especially when you're in the corners to get a good run off into the straightaways. The second tip is to make sure you hold a steady line throughout the corners, whether it's the high line or the low line. Make sure you stay committed to that line throughout the whole corner to get the best run on at the straightaways. If you switch lines mid corner you will lose your momentum and possibly even run into somebody else and risk crashing and you'll end up like Tony Stewart did in 2012 so it's best to just hold a steady line you will get a better run off the corner and you'll have a better chance of gaining a couple positions out of each corner so hopefully these settings helped your races become a little bit more challenging and exciting if they did you know what to do subscribe like leave a comment it really helps us out we always appreciate your feedback thank you for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video